Hi, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. In last week's video, I showed you how to create a currency converter using data types in Excel. In this video, I'll show you an alternative. In fact, some would say better way of doing it. When Microsoft recently added auto refresh to the stocks and currency data types in Excel, it meant that we could create a currency converter that updated in real time. And that's what last week's video was about. But that method is not without its problems. Using Power Query, which is available to many more Excel users, we can achieve the same result with more flexibility when it comes to refresh settings. Let me show you. If you want to follow along with me, or you just want a better understanding of how I've put the demo together, you can download a copy of the worksheet via a link in the description below the video. If you watched last week's video, I'm using the same scenario. The financial director of Excellent Ice Creams uses this spreadsheet to analyse year-to-date sales in real time in four currencies. The formulas in columns C, D and E rely on the exchange rate values in column K. So I've switched to the demo sheet and the NAs that you see in columns C, D and E, they'll be resolved once I've created the currency table. The formulas in columns C, D and E reference cells in columns J and K, and that's where I'll put the currency table. The first step is to find a website that includes the currencies I need. And for this demo, I'll use exchangerates.org.uk, but you might have a different site that you prefer to use. On the home page, I'll click on Currency Exchange Rates. And we now see the exchange rates for a number of currencies, including British pounds. I need to copy the URL and then click on data and from web. I need to paste the URL into the URL field and click on OK. Every table in that web page is listed on that left hand panel. And as I click on the table names, it shows me a preview of the data. So table zero is the one I want to use because that's the one that's got the British pound exchange rates. The data that's stored in the table in the web page, and that's what we're looking at here as a preview, can't be used as is. I know that I'll need to do some cleaning and transforming of this data. So I'll click on the Transform Data button, and that opens up the Query Editor. I only need to keep two of the columns. You'll notice the columns don't have proper names. I'll deal with that shortly, but I only want to keep columns three and four. So I'll start by clicking on Home, Choose Columns, and only selecting columns three and four. Then I can rename those columns. So I'll double click the heading, column three, and change that column heading to be currency and do the same thing for column four and call that rate. Now, I only want three currencies in my currency table. I want euros, US dollars and Japanese yen. And I can do that just by applying a simple filter and selecting US dollars, Japanese yen and euros. I also only want to see the part of the text that doesn't include the GBP. I'm not interested in that. And that's because I need to use this table as a lookup table back in the spreadsheet. So I need to only display the EUR, USD and JPY, which is the last three characters of the currency column. So with the currency column selected, click on Transform, Extract, last characters and type three. And that will retain or keep the last three characters of each row. At this point, I can now close down the query editor by clicking on file and close and load to. If I choose close and load, that will actually put this table of data into a new worksheet. And I don't want to do that. I want to put this data in an existing worksheet. So I'll choose close and load to, and then I get a choice of where I can put this data. I'll choose existing worksheet and I want to put it into J5 and click OK. 
I'll close down this Queries and Connections panel. The query is simply the set of instructions that connects this Excel file to the web page. And I'll also just format all the cells so they have the same font size. Bear in mind that those data cleaning and data transformation commands relate to this data. If you use a different website where the data is structured differently, you'll need to perform different data cleaning and transformation commands. Now let's look at the refresh options. As it stands, the currency table won't automatically update. So if I want to refresh the currency table, I would either right click anywhere on that table and click on refresh, or I can click on the query tab on the ribbon and click on refresh from there. But what if I do want to change the refresh settings? Then what I do with that data selected, or at least one cell in that data selected, I click on Query Properties, and I get some refresh settings. So I can choose to refresh this data every X minutes. I might go for three minutes, or I might go for 10 minutes, or whatever. It depends on what the data is, but you certainly get more control um, than the, the data type settings that we looked at in the previous video, which is fixed to every five minutes. But I can also refresh the data when opening the file and have the data in this table refreshed whenever somebody selects data refresh all. So that's how to use the magic of Power Query to create an auto refreshing currency converter. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe for more. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips and tricks to help you become more productive in Excel. You can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.